Girls, as you can see, today's project is making a balloon dog inspired by Jeff Koons. Jeff Koons is the artist who created the artwork called Balloon Dog. Balloon Dog is a sculpture. It is a 3D artwork that is part of a bigger group of artworks called Celebration. Jeff Koons wanted to make a whole bunch of artworks that reminded him of times that were happy and celebratory. And so he thought one of those things is balloons and making balloon things out of balloons. Um, and Balloon Dog was one of those. Now Balloon Dog is not actually made out of balloons. It is made out of metal and it is very, 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 very big. This is a small sculpture that somebody else made that was also inspired by Jeff's, Jeff Kuhn's balloon dog sculpture. Um, but this is so many times smaller than what his actual sculptures look like. I was lucky enough a few years ago to get to see two artworks of Jeff Kuhn's um, celebration series. One is called Tulips and the other one is, of course, our balloon dog. I'll show you some pictures that I took when I got to go to the museum and see both of those next. awesome guys it was so fun and I was so lucky to get to see those artworks of Jeff Koons at the museum um, now if we were gonna make something that big holy moly I know I wouldn't have any space left in my house to live so instead we're gonna make something a little bit smaller um, and we are going to be making some balloon dog pictures so what you are gonna need is some papers. I'll talk about all of these as we go. Some drawing or coloring materials, maybe some paint if you're feeling it, um, some glue and some scissors. That's about it. Um, but we are also gonna need our thinking caps because we're gonna be talking a little bit about color value. And that is gonna help us make our balloon dogs feel a little bit like they are a 3D objects, even though they are flat on the paper. And that is because of the way that light interacts with an object. So if I have light shining on this object right here, you'll see that there are some nice bright, shiny white spots right there, right on top of the nose there. There's a whole bunch right along here. And then there's also some darker areas, some shadow areas. Now the bright light spots are where the light is bumping into our object. And the shadowy dark spots is kind of where the light can't get in. It's kind of being kept out by other things around it. So as we build our balloon dog, we are also going to be doing that. We're going to have some darker areas where we have a nice dark color. We'll have a medium area and then a nice bright shiny white. <clears throat> you can do this with markers, with paint, with colored pencils, and I will explain it all as we go. So... Let's get started. And girls, so for the first part of this project, you're gonna need a piece of paper, piece of cardboard. This is just left over from a cereal box, but any cardboard will do. Um, we are gonna be cutting this out, so you'll need a pair of scissors, and you wanna make sure your cardboard's not too thick that you can't cut it out with maybe a pair of scissors or ask a grown-up for help, and then a pencil. I'm gonna be making a template, a tracer, so that I can draw seven ovals that are the same. They are gonna help me put together my blue dog, I'm also on here going to be drawing a smaller oval and a nice curvy triangle because again, balloon dog, think balloons. We don't have pointy corners on balloons. So I'm gonna draw, make my template, I'm gonna cut it out and then I'm gonna trace um, all those things on my paper. Here we go. ready to start adding some color to our balloon dog pieces. And you can do this a couple of different ways. We were talking about value. Now value is the light or darkness of a color. Some colors are lighter, some colors are darker. For instance, 
this blue is darker than this blue. This blue is lighter than this blue. That means this one has more white in it. It's a lighter value than this one. Same with our reds. And if we look at my tray of paint, I have similar. I've got some darker greens, maybe a medium green and a nice light green. Those are all different values of green. You can use any type of material that you would like. Um, if you're using markers, you do want a different, a light and a dark version of those things. If you're using paints and you have the option to have a light and a dark of those, that's great. Otherwise, you could use um, watercolor paint in a couple different ways. One is you can really saturate it. That means that when you are mixing, oh my goodness, when you are mixing your paint with the water, you add a little bit of water and really, 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 really mix it around to make it nice and dark. But then as you go, if you add more water to watercolor paint, it lightens that color a bit. There's the change, the difference in that. You could also um, use a paint and have um, the paint and then you could mix some white in with it. I don't tend to do that when I have watercolor paint. I tend to do it this way, but if you had other kinds of paint like a temper paint or an acrylic paint, you could mix the um, color with some white to make a lighter version of it as well. Now with colored pencils, you could do the same thing with your markers, have a light and a dark version, or for those of you that have seen some projects where we've done this in class, you can work on your pencil skills by pushing down really hard to make a darker value and then pushing down less and less and less and less and less to get that lighter value. Up to you what you choose to use for your um, blue dog. The only thing that we do want to do is that on all of them we want to leave a little kind of skinny banana shape on each piece that is just gonna be plain old white. We're not gonna add any color there. And then on the opposite side, we're gonna make a, we're gonna use our darker value of our color and add another kind of skinny banana piece. I think for this one, I'm gonna go with my markers. We'll see how that works out. Um, and maybe I can show you um, a little bit of some of the other uh, materials as well. Here it goes. all my balloon dog pieces ready to be glued together. I've got two legs, a body, I've got his neck, his kind of head and his nose here, his ear sticking up really tall and then he's got a nice balloon tail as well. I'm going to glue those together and then I'm going to be ready to put them on the background. It's up to you what you want to glue your balloon dog onto. You could Put it on a nice white piece of paper and leave it on the white piece of paper or you could cut out a bigger piece of colored paper and add some decoration so it has a nice frame around it. You could do it onto a decorative piece of paper. That's a piece of paper with some pretty colors on it. This one I made in one of my other videos and then I stuck it onto a piece of cardboard. You could do either one of those ideas. Or my other idea that I think is really fun is that you could look through some magazines and find a nice picture of a, of a really fun place that maybe Balloon Dog would like to visit and you could put Balloon Dog in that place. Whatever you choose is a great idea and I'm sure it will come out wonderful. I am going to glue my Balloon Dog together and do something like this to show you kind of all the extra steps that you could take. So here we go.
my glue dog. He's our balloon dog that is blue. He's all finished. He's got a beautiful frame that I decorated with some lines and some shapes to make some interesting designs and patterns. Um, and I can see his different values. There he is, he is done. But I wanna show you a quick version for anyone that feels like they don't have all these different kinds of supplies. Maybe you just have one piece of paper at home. Let me show you what you can do to get your very own balloon dog with just one piece of paper. Awesome balloon dogs. Now remember, use whatever you have at home. I used some cereal box cardboard. I used a white piece of paper, which could have been anything. It could have been an envelope. It could have been paper from a shopping, a paper shopping bag. Um, I used magazine papers, right? Use whatever pieces of paper, scraps you have lying around, get creative and Hopefully you will have fun making a really awesome balloon dog. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Don't forget to send me your pictures when you're done. See you later. Bye.